In an unprecedented move, the royal palace has provided exclusive information, finally shedding light on a closely guarded secret, the details surrounding Princess Catherine's private battle with cancer. Rumors had long circulated about the Princess of Wales's health, but until now, much of the truth had been carefully concealed from the public eye. Catherine surprised the whole planet with a video in which she gave the long-awaited news that she has finally finished her chemotherapy treatment. She even confessed how hard this journey has been. The cancer journey is terrifying and unpredictable. On the TV program Fiesta on Telecinco, where they have always followed very closely the state of health of the princess, they provided an exclusive to reveal all the information that the British royal house has been responsible for keeping secret on the subject. Concha Calleja was in charge of telling it all. The collaborator began with a review of Catherine's path through her illness and recalled that Christmas 2023 pose, a key date since, after it, Catherine did not appear until the video in which she announced her illness. Two days after Christmas, she was urgently admitted to hospital. This sudden development took the royal family by surprise, intensifying concerns behind closed doors. Until now, this event had been one of the royal family's best-kept secrets, with only a select few within their inner circle aware of the emergency. As the news remained hidden, the world continued to see Catherine as an embodiment of strength, unaware of the severity of her condition. According to Concha, she could have had a cancer throughout 2023 and even 2022. However, her symptoms were camouflaged. Though her public appearances during that time seemed to suggest normalcy, Catherine had been privately dealing with the emotional and physical challenges of her illness. Throughout 2022 and 2023, the princess was undergoing treatment, though her public duties were carefully managed to minimize public suspicion. On December 27, the Princess of Wales underwent emergency surgery, a very important operation. They tell me that doctors only have one shot to get it right. If they didn't get it right, it would have been irreversible. Otherwise, it would have been patches and patches and patches and patches. For nearly two years, the royal family worked diligently to shield Catherine from undue public scrutiny, allowing her the privacy and dignity to focus on her treatment. It is now clear that her ability to continue attending royal engagements while battling cancer was a testament to her resilience and grace under immense pressure. However, the royal family's decision to maintain secrecy has raised questions about her transparency with the public. One of the most intriguing aspects of Catherine's cancer battle is her alleged stay in the United States, which royal insiders have now confirmed despite earlier denials. Speculation had swirled in early 2024 when rumors surfaced that Catherine had spent time at the Anderson Clinic where Catherine was receiving treatment for a few weeks. It was not chemotherapy but a complementary alternative treatment. At the time, the palace firmly denied these claims, insisting that Catherine was not receiving treatment abroad. In reference to Catherine's last video announcing the end of chemotherapy, the collaborator affirmed that King Charles III did not like it at all. Although she did say that both he and Camilla are very happy that this chemotherapy treatment is over and they hope that the cancer will be reviewed. The revelation that Catherine has been battling cancer for such an extended period adds a new layer of complexity to the royal family's public relations strategy. Those close to the family suggest that the secrecy was necessary to protect Catherine's mental and physical well-being as she faced an incredibly difficult challenge. A source familiar with the situation revealed the family was trying to offer her the space to recover without the added burden of public scrutiny. It was not an easy decision, but they believed it was the right one for Catherine. As Catherine now enters the final stages of her recovery, the royal family has hinted that she will slowly return to her public role, but with an adjusted schedule to allow her to focus on her health. The revelations surrounding her cancer battle have brought a renewed appreciation for her strength and resilience. The public, now aware of the immense challenge she has faced, is likely to embrace her return with even greater admiration.